Hey fellas, how's it going? So, DLC 4, the end. This map has got to be a piece of art, nothing short of a masterpiece. So Treyarch, no pressure, apart from the immense pressure which is currently crushing your bones. Believe it or not, Treyarch are not complete re- R words. They have crafted pieces of art and masterpieces before. What exactly are we looking for? What are we asking for from the grand ending, the grand finale? Because honestly, it's kind of, it's kind of hard to put into words. I hope DLC 4 takes inspiration from a great finale which already exists from Treyarch. You know, Treyarch should be inspired by themselves in the past because they were really good in the past. This masterpiece has big, muscly boys. In my opinion, Origins is the perfect example of a finale and I'm hoping this next map is along these lines. Now, I'm not saying it should be a remaster or a reimagining or it should be Origins 2.0 necessarily. Anyways, you guys know what I'm saying. So, remember when Treyarch said, forget what you know. What did they bloody mean? Well, forget what you know about Call of the Dead because even if this map is a Call of the Dead reimagining, I don't think that really matters. It's basically going to be its own thing. In fact, we have got our hands on a top secret artist's impression of a DLC 4. If you can already tell, I have severe idiot brain. But I really like the idea from Origins where, you know, the mound, the dig site is in the middle of the map, kind of as the centerpiece. So what if, you know, the lighthouse is the centerpiece for this map and we can go all around it in different areas like the frozen forest, like an ice cave system and boats and that, you know? There can and should be a ton of new areas and locations to explore so that the map feels like it's essentially brand new. We know that Ultimus and Victus are going to be there, so I'm guessing the crew is going to work just like it did in Alpha Omega, but what about Misty and the boys? They are going to come into play one way or another, but I'm not sure how, but I'm excited, unless they bloody die. Another idea is Grief Mode. It was, what, 10 years ago that Jason Blundell said that Grief Mode is ready to or almost ready to be in Black Ops 4. But where is it? Come on, Treyarch, if you're hiding grief mode down in the basement with all the QA testers, just let them out, please. Imagine Ultimus versus Victus grief mode. You know, 4v4, in this new map, epic, better happen. In fact, in Revelations, there were announcer quotes for Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man, so maybe that was gonna be something in Revelations, but they cut it so there's a Shadow Man side, a Richtofen side, I, I, I want this. I need this. What about everyone's favourite demonic little German girl? Samantha Maxis. What role is she gonna play? My idea is the Keeper Protector, the Adams, the Civil Protector. Just reuse that feature, but it's Samantha. You can do something to call in Samantha and her powers to help you. That would be mind-blowing and I want my mind to be blown. You can never go wrong with four wonder weapons that have an upgrade quest, the zombies community slurps that shit up. So why don't we do that again, because it always works. Now according to the leaker, the gaming revolution, there are going to be four elemental scavengers. Okay, but my idea was having melee, me melee weapons. Imagine having four melee weapons, like a sword, a spear, a scythe, and uh, a spoon, I don't know, a, a, an axe. But they're just normal melee weapons, but then you can do something to upgrade them. And when I was doing research for this, apparently those were actually things in World War II zombies. But I'm pretty sure, like, the entire Earth's population has wiped World War II zombies from their memory. So I think it's okay if we, like, reuse that stuff. You know, imagine, like, you just... It's really easy to get access to the base weapon, but then there's that additional upgrade where they become really awesome and powerful and they have ranged attacks. I think we would love that. Now, what about plot twists? Once again, our mind is getting blown by Treyarch's idiotic genius. You know, right now, I guess I'm pretty sure people who care about the storyline and know anything about the storyline kind of can see what's going to happen. We're going to go to the Call of the Dead location uh, get the, uh, what's it called, the golden rod and the crystal thing, and then we're gonna, it's gonna make a gateway to Agatha, to Dr. Monty's house, we're gonna explode that dude's house, that old man's house, poor him, 
and then that's how it's going to end, and we'll kill him, I'm a shadow man or something, and then, yeah. But what if there's a plot twist, like, I oh know, Dr. Monty wins? Or if evil Richtofen is evil and he does some evil things and, like, kills everyone, and he becomes, like, the overlord of all the dimensions or whatever? Actually, that sounds awesome. Now, the ending? Actually, before we talk about the ending, the Easter egg, which is pretty damn important, even though like 0.01 of the players actually finish Easter eggs, is can the Easter egg not be ass? Can it be good? And can it be epic? Damn it. I'm going to keep this here, but I actually wanted to... This was pretty important, so I should have talked about it earlier, but I want this map to be big, grand, and epic. Like Origins, you know, when Samantha's talking to you about all the, the Kuda steps, like uh, secure the keys, raise hell... Uh, and uh, the, the other steps, you know, it's just everything that you're doing in that map, the atmosphere, the features, the big ass robots, musty robots, everything about that map is just grand and epic, and I want this map to be like that too, so the easter egg needs to not be ass, and needs to be cool, epic, and make sense, and fun, and then the ending, is there even an ending possible that would not be hated? I don't think so, I think no matter what, no matter what happens, the community is going to be like, that, that ending's kind of dog, you know? In conclusion, DLC 4, the finale, has to be an instant classic, it has to be up there with like, Shadows to Eyes and Origins and Mob of the Dead, you know, those newer school zombies maps which people just, the entire community just clicked with and were just top tier maps, because if this map is anything less, then it's kind of just gonna, it's, it's just gonna be, I don't know how the community would move on forward, especially if it's worse and it's dog cheeks, you know, then zombies might be in a, in a world of hurt, but anyway guys, I've been rambling for way too long, and I have big idiot brain, I should just leave you here guys, stay spicy, and I'll see you in the next one, cheers. <laughs>